Oh yeah, I uh did this too, chat. Uh <laughs> I made a be like back screen because you know I don't use a clip showcase anymore. So when I'm when I'm going to uh, get a drink or a sippy or going to the toilet, I can put this up. <laughs> right, go away. Oh no. Oh, I, I might know why it, I'm getting, like, internet problems right now, because I've got the stream up on the other monitor. Let me reduce the quality of that, shall I? We're good. I think. Right. Uh, Dying Light 2. Welcome in. So, uh, if you don't know what Dying Light 2 is, chat, I'll give you a little bit of background. In fact, I probably shouldn't have loaded the game, <laughs> because, well, uh, we'll see. We'll get up there and we'll start it, won't we? Uh, game capture, Dying Light 2. Can you see it, chat? Can you see the game? I don't know, because I can't see the screen. I don't think you can. Oh, no, you can, you can! Uh, blips, I throw my stream monitor down to 40p. Civilization is a vulnerable thing. Ah, it's got the music from the first game! <laughs> At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire Yep, yeah, I remember Havan. That was a cool place. What did you think of the music in this game, Mail? Because I think the music is one of the standout parts. It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I know you guys played it, but you you didn't like it after they got rid of the um the uh, kick thing and that. Yeah, I, <laughs> to be honest, if I played it with that. I don't remember the music too much. Yeah, it's it's very uh, it's very good, but yeah, uh, probably the multiplayer shenanigans. Uh, you probably didn't get a chance to hear the music too much, but it's very good. Oh, my newspaper's on fire! Dying Light is the parkour game. Yes, it is. A heavy parkour focus. What level do you have the game set at? OBS, I have interest. DB level? Oh. The only means of contact between uh, minus 21. Our lone individuals Does it need to be turned up? We're desperate enough to travel on the oh, we're going up to 18. Dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, Minus ten. Okay, I'll give that a go. Bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for uh. once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. What is this Final Fantasy music? It's not a Final Fantasy game, it's a zombie game. Ah, very good. I like that. <laughs> Why is this game my guilty pleasure? <laughs> it, it generally is. I love, I love the first game so much. That's a lot of zombies. I don't know if there's going to be that many. Uh, I remember Days Gone. That, that, that PS4 game had a lot of zombies. Oh, well, I want to read it, game. A very small percentage of individuals. Okay, you know, this is basically epilepsy warning. Right, but here we are, in the game. Ah, oh, shit. So, Dying Light 2. Let's bonk some zombie. Yeah, telebonk time. <laughs> Dying Light 1, uh, I played it back when it came out. I think that was 2015 or 16. I don't know when it was. Yeah, I played that day, it's going to go, no idea if it's any good. It is... Uh, it's like this game, I think. The story is very hit and miss for people, but they like the combat a lot. It's a lot more realistic. Like the, you have weapons, but they're not like they're designed to be like a. It's basically, uh, what's 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 the game? Last. It's like basically the last. Uh, what's it called? 
the game that Rob was playing, the, the Last of Us. Okay, yeah, The Last of Us is basically that, but if it was like a fully blown open world zombie game with uh, some pretty cool uh, zombies in that one. I like that zombies in that game quite a bit. But yeah, Dying Light Two, Stay Human, the sequel to a game I hold very dear. That and its DLC, Tech Tech Lab, Techland, wherever they're called, provided so much community support to the first game. Like, it's insane. There's so many modes and there's so much uh, excess content in that game that you can just play it forever. They even got, like, a community level thing where you can uh, put together sing things in the Steam Workshop for people to run through, like platforming, uh, arenas and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, and, yeah, they've been spending the last four years making this game and people got very angry that they delayed it and then they made that terrible post saying, our game takes 700 hours to beat. It doesn't. It takes about 40 from what I've heard to get through the main story and doing some of the side content. I mainly am just going to do the side content and the main story. Like, uh, sure, it's going to be like a thousand collectibles. And, you know, it's going to be like Breath of the Wild, the Korok seeds. Yeah, you found me or whatever. Um, I'm not going to be doing that here. If they let me turn on the dropkick modifier, no format, I'll play it. I think they actually are doing that for this game now. They won't be adding that mode. Uh, but yeah, I know that you guys played it uh, for a vault stream, and it looked, yeah, it looked, it looked very fun playing it that way. And I could see how that would have like spoiled it for you guys when it was actually like, oh no, this game's a lot more grounded than that uh, uh, to, to that extent. So yeah, let's jump into this, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to be using you guys as a. Oh, hold on. Welcome in, Cyber! Day is gone. Is that a daylight savings uh, clock change simulator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically, you know, that lost hour when you uh, join daylight savings. It's a horror game based around that. And wondering like, where it goes, like the, the farmers who steal it. And there's like zombies there too. <laughs> it was like somebody, suddenly someone took away all my fun toys away. Yeah. It's like when you get the motorbike in Breath of the Wild, you just want the motorbike forever now, but if you replay the game, you're not going to have it until you do the DLC. Right, but yes, here we are in Dying Light. It looks a little bit dark, doesn't it, chat? I know it's called Dying Light, but let's increase the camera a little bit, shall we? Uh, there we go. Well, that, that's, that's made it terrible. No, 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 not qual- Performance? Quality? Uh, I don't know any of these settings. Well, let's bring it back down to 20 then. I don't know if the quality is- is if the brightness is okay for you, chat. It looks a little bit dark to me. Let me just get- let me just look at the stream and look at it, 1080. Not scaling, we'll do just standard uh, 1080p, okay. Enable hints, video. Yeah, I've already done all this. I already went through this beforehand. Yeah, I've got this on uh, Ultra. I've also got Ray Tracing on, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, before, if I tried to play this game, my PC would blow up. But now, it's pretty cool. I've got, in fact, I'll probably better show you it here. Um, I got the performance overlay up for Keyforce, and it's at 60 FPS. It's pretty cool. Put an upscaler mode and anything else of render at a low resolution of scale. This is probably a good idea of ray tracing enabled. This is probably uh the the LLS is a okay yeah I'll I'll put it on then. Right, but new game. Okay, we're going to be playing a new game of this uh, normal, a balanced experience for the majority of gamers. Enemies pose a reasonable threat at the start, which increases as the game progresses. Resources are evenly distributed in the world, but they will still require some effort to find. Oh, so it's casual mode then. <laughs> yeah, gamers. Yeah, when the when the guy came to deliver me my GPU, he was he asked me, "Are, are you going to be using this for gaming?" And I was like, "Yeah, uh, maybe." It doesn't make me a gamer though. It just makes me someone who likes to play games. <laughs> I do have a life. I swear. <laughs> also, that loading time was instant. That's very good. <laughs> 20.2 20. 
2036. 14 years into the outbreak. Well, the 16 years into the outbreak. Oh, 15 years after the fall. Wait, is Dying Light 2 based in the future? Wait, yeah, I think it is now. That, now that I remember, I think it is actually based like in the future. 2021 is when it's based. <laughs> I was going to use as a doorstop, exactly. A very expensive LED doorstop. Oh, okay. Well, that's very pretty. So now you're going to have pretty good quality like graphics over pretty below average commentary chat. <laughs> I'm going to have to actually start trying with my commentary. I can't just let the game speak for itself. You still got it. Hmm? You know, this game used to be more fun. And you used to be younger. And dumber. Wait. What matters is, you still get the spat. That's not Roger Craig Smith, is there? I thought... So... Okay. The dialogue. I want to show you something. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, frame rate, just checking it, making sure we're good. Yeah, it's 60 FPS. Well, it's kind of not actually right now. It's currently at 45. But if we do turn ray tracing off then... Wow, this is what the game looks like on ray tracing, chat. Looks very good. Wait, now it's fine. Wait, no, it's not. It's at 45 again. Yeah, okay, we're going to turn ray tracing off. It was a cool experiment. But, yeah, this is what the game looks like, chat. I don't know how it looks for you quality-wise. I'm looking at the stream right now. Is it supposed to be a fourth wall break? Always doing number of the frames. Yeah, but if, if, I don't know how it is for you chat right now. Ooh, oh, is that motion blur? Yeah, let's turn that off. I don't want motion blur. Allows the game to control as his aura. Pardon? The fuck is that? As his aura. It's a new thing, I, uh, oh, that, oh my god, hot, 100%? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no motion blur, not in my video game. Ah, oh. as this IGB, yeah, let's, uh, let's turn ray tracing off. <laughs> it might require a, a reinstall, though. Mm, dirty 12. Uh, hi, hi, hi. There you go. That fixed the problem? Yeah, we look good. Okay, 60 FPS, let's go. <laughs> uh, can you praise the sun? If, if I can find it, that is. The game looks very pretty. I will say that. Alright, let's head over here, shall we? Oh, there's zombies over there. Hello! Can I die if I... Oh, well, here we go! <laughs> Sleet, sliding down! Oh, I'm leaving the mission area, apparently. Okay. Wee! <laughs> I just wanted to find out if it's like Elden Ring, like where you fall down, you just go back, you just continue forward. Good. Yeah, good beginnings. He just watched me, he didn't even care, he didn't like shout, like, Aiden, no! He just watched me die, he just watched me plummet to my death. You, d you died, yeah. First death. So yeah, uh, if the quality is good, chat, we can- Oh, look at the shit, look at the shadows. Look at this, look at the small man, look at his legs. It was like, you're <laughs> leaving the mission area. It kind of has that with the fog walls, but yeah, that, it, it's a little bit immersion breaking, admittedly. It's like you go into Vail Lucaria and you and you like walk off the edge and it's like, you are leaving the mission area. Please return in 10 seconds. The two fingers, they've, they've gone too far this time. I am going to boost the quality of, of my preview up so I can have a look at it too. 
It looks good. Looks very good. Uh, does this game have these dog enemies like in Miyazaki's games? Maybe. And of course, chat, if I kill the dog enemies, doesn't make me a dog killer. Because those enemy dogs are trying to kill me and I have to defend myself. So I feel 100% justified in what I have to do to them. Shit, man. You're still strong. I am. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Mr. Tree. Okay, what is it you wanted to talk about? The foley work is also really good. Like the, the grass and stuff. I'm talking like I'm a graphics expert. I'm not. I just like the look of this grass and these flowers. Look at it. This fucking dog killer disclaimer, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I have to say it. They need to put it at the beginning of all Miyazaki games now. It's just like, you are going to be killing dogs in this game. They are not real dogs. They are made out of bits. If you kill them, you're not killing an actual dog. So don't feel bad about it. And if someone calls you dog killer, tell them to politely fuck off. <laughs> you mean the foliage, probably. The foliage. It's like made out of aluminium foil. <laughs> Oh, chat, I'm just going to be staring at the backgrounds. This is why I wanted to make Dying Light two, uh, two hours, because otherwise it's going to take years. <laughs> uh. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. That's not Bob Craig Smith, is it? I need to find out. Hold Come on. I want to show you something. Dying Where Light 2 IMDb. It's incredible. What's well, incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Oh, you've been kicking around for what? Four years? No, it's not. And you're still alive. So I didn't. You. Oh. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Spike is such an Sir, awesome dude. I hope he doesn't die in the first five minutes. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which uh, you take? Foil glass, that's a dish, isn't it? <laughs> See then, Spike. I wanted to find out if it was Roger Craig Smith. It's not, but I found out that uh, Rosario Dawson is in this game. So that's pretty cool. Some five rickety huts left. Can you push him off a cliff? Fence. Probably. Nobody there had heard of her. So she must have gone to Gary. In that case, I'll head north. Now, We're going west. East, then think about going north. Why? Haven't you heard? Bridge over the Scraw is gone. Swept away by that flood this spring. Gotta cross the old fjord. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no excuse way. me? Did you just slur your line? Oh, look around. I know I'm not I know I also slur myself, but <laughs> Okay. Well since I am technically Twitch flower, this should be really easy for me. Okay, we still got survival sensors. That's good. Oh God! I hope they don't attack me. Nah, it's fine. We just like we just picked them all up like individually, <laughs> like a crab. We just grabbed every single bee and we stuffed it into our pocket. We're gonna make some honey, Spike. You like that? You like honey? If you tested my patience, friend, you're doing really well. Okay. I don't like honey then. No, it's fine. You're doing mm. really well. Well, survival sensors would be going off the charts. Don't go near those. Oh wow, you uh, the witcher? Maybe we could be one of the witches. Oh no! Don't kick it. That's the worst thing you could do. Look at that leg strength, though. Can I... Okay, no, I was gonna, I was gonna lose my shit if you uh, could see your foot from up here. That would have been good. Bars. What's this? <gasps> it's a flower. Sorry, mate. I have to do this. I know it's technically me being a cannibal, but I need you. Let's kick Spike. Yeah, okay. He's a moon. <laughs> also, my leg gets very small when I kick him. The perspective is a little bit weird. Can you kick looking straight down? Kinda. He kinda like kicks a little bit forward. Eh. Eh. 
Yeah, they do like a weird like perspective thing when you try and kick something in front of you. Uh, what does it do if you kick something like, right up against like a tree or a rock? Does it like... Yeah, you get like tiny leg, yeah. <laughs> you get stumpy. <laughs> you know what chamomile looks like, right? Okay, Mr. Spike. I don't know if you're a cat during the first game. I don't remember you, but... Listen, I've only known you for five seconds. When you call yourself awesome, <laughs> and then you expect shit from me. Kind of got to realize who you're dealing with here. Someone who doesn't, doesn't like is very is not very observant. Ooh! Oh, that, that's cool. Uh, you can hear the um the, the trees uh, creaking a little bit. I like that. This is a very nice looking area. Someone who's not very observant, indeed. Proceeds to run off cliff. Listen, I didn't see the cliff. It was, the, the, the trees covered it. I have, <laughs> you know, I have been on camping numerous times, and numerous times have I gone through like a forest area, and then suddenly there was like a really steep bit, and I fallen over. Luckily, nothing major. The worst time that happened was it was like about twenty feet. 20 foot slope and at the bottom was a little pond so I just kind of <laughs> rolled down it and I just landed in the pond. Can you swim in this game probably? <laughs> oh I, I saw something. Uh, what is this? Is this reality breaking apart? <laughs> is this part of the game? What is this? <laughs> this texture fresh? This is what Vox looked like in <laughs> Dying Light 2? Oh no! This isn't my, my PC doing this, is it? I downloaded the latest driver. That's pretty really weird. It's like a barcode. A rock barcode. Uh, pretty sure you could in the first one, so I bet you could hear. A glix. Yeah, it's like. Cyber, it's going to be like Assassin's Creed. Like we're going to find out at the end of the game that we're actually inside of a simulation, a zombie simulation game. I'd play the shit out of that, to be honest. That's a real bad texture stretching. It really is. Also, I like the lighting right now. The the, the red like hue on the trees and the fact that it's autumn. Autumn is by far the best season. If you're doing a forest, like. And you have to set a season for it, make it autumn, because that's when you can really get like the popping colours from the leaves. Uh, so a science fact for you, chat. The reason why... Looks like, right? The reason why trees go um, red and orange during autumn is because the light sensitivity changes uh, in that part of the year. It's before they, uh, their leaves fall off. Uh, basically, they have to change how they absorb light uh, in the chlorophyll. Because chlorophyll naturally... Absorb, absorb uh, light uh, uh, at, at green, but at red and orange it can absorb it too, but it's a lot less powerful, a lot less potent. And there you have it. Flower fact. Where the fuck is this last flower? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Mate. Oh, wait, is it over there? We're never going to get out of the tutorial area. Oh yeah, apparently, from what I've heard, this tutorial is about two hours long. Takes a while for you to get to the open world, so probably not going to get there today. <gasps> Best followers! I can't ban them. Can someone ban them, please? Uh, a moderator, because I haven't got that on my mod thing. I can ban them, but... Like, give me a second. Ban. <laughs> I think the ability to swim in the game depends on the director can swim or not. <laughs> you think that's like that's how they do, they design it? So that means the director of Soma was a deep sea diver then. Oh my god! <laughs> Where is this flower? Where is it? My god! My lord! He's having a go at me about it. You can't find it, can you, Flower? <gasps> oh, that was an, a really close cliffhanger. We didn't die, though. 
it's telling me to go over there, but it's not over here. I don't need any more honey, I need chamomile, and I don't have chamomile. <laughs> Seriously, where is this game? Some of the plant language can talk to the tree to ask where it is. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think flowers have echolocation. But they might. Oh, chat. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Come on. I don't think the game spawned in any other flowers than the first one we found. It's telling me to go back there, but it wasn't only over there. I scanned that area like 12 times. Do we, do we need to go in here? Try finger butthole. <laughs> That's very helpful. a bit dull since the last time we saw each other, huh? Back to work. <laughs> you know what chamomile looks like, right? But don't think I do. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I see. We were all working together, making sure I couldn't find it. We were all, all grouped together up this cliff. Yeah. Oh, oh, chat, can I just point that to you? When I did this, you can see, like, barely visible <laughs> circles. I can, I can barely see that game. Come on. All right, we're done. Yeah, this will do. And you jump on a cliff, but you can't jump over a fence. Hmm. Interesting how that works. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and it's look a very, uh, you just might go memorable over. saying. Craft healing medicine. You received your first blueprint. Blueprints are pla plans that allow you to create accessories, consumables, and weapon modifications using various craft parts, scavenge, or an exploration. This is where you store the craft parts you collected. Read the craft description to see how they're used and where you can find them. Nice. Got some healing. Come on, we almost there. I'm gonna check the stream quality again. I know that I know that people in chat right now, but I'm just I just want to check that everything is good. We are good. Right, let's go. Right. And I'm going to lower the quality again of the uh, the other monitor I'm looking at. Hi. This is it. Come on. Can you push that a little bit more? I'm not as thin as I used to be. Well, this is nice looking. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Was it someone's birthday? Was it my birthday? They're like lanterns. I don't know where we are in the world. I wasn't paying attention to you on the intro. Maybe I should have been. Oh, 
you know, I appreciate the fact that they have multiple audio for the characters in these instances, but when they do it like that, and they just keep saying, are you stupid? Can you not find this? It's very, like, demotivating. <laughs> You're so stupid, Flower. How can you not work out? Do you need to go through here? Well, here we go. I'm going here. Versus? Versus who? Oh boy, I hope a zombie doesn't jump out at me. Got some leather, very good. Oh yeah, it's like the first game. You yeah, got the uh, baskets and stuff. Wish you would uh, loot. There's nothing here. There's nothing in here. Yeah, I'm starting to see why the game wanted to make it a little bit dark because this is. It's, it's very nice in here right now, I like it. I always think that lighting is a thing that some horror games struggle on quite a bit. Uh, I know there's some games, uh, some good horror games that do excellent lighting, like Doom 3 and uh, Fear. And that's really all you need to make a game scary, like, if you can't see around the corner or there's like certain light beams coming through an area or an office, it does an excellent job of, like, of freaking you out, and I think. The first game knew how to do that. I mean, it's called Dying Light After. Well, you kind of expect that. Five years later, who remembers who ran? I, I want to read. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe I can read it in my inventory now. Perkins Quest. Medicine myself. Oh, he's getting ready to punk! He's ready to start. There we go. <gasps> Flower. What else do I have? Online menu? Hmm. Delicious menu. I kind of wanted to read that uh, newspaper article, but okay, guess I won't. Also, I hate it when games do this, <laughs> where you have like, where you have stuff you need to click on to check it, otherwise it's gonna have like circles up here. Which three did that, and it made me really annoyed whenever I went to the menu. I was like, oh, I haven't checked everything. Knock knock. Oh, hello. You, you okay there? Oh yeah, there's quite a few like little graphical bugs in this game. That's very adorable. Whoa! It does generally look like, like the Matrix is like crashing apart. I don't know if that's me or if it's my uh, PC doing it, but. How is the frame rate? I'm looking now, it looks very chunky. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know what I'm saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. What? Well, it was nice knowing you, Spike. You were a pretty awesome character. Remember five minutes ago where you called yourself awesome? I think he's like still like sad over me not listening to him before. And to be fair, I couldn't find the flowers. And I also couldn't find my way in here. So maybe it's justified. Okay, the last spring party, 2023. Tuesday, March 21st. Oh, that's close to now. Dance like it's the end of the world. That's very ironic. Boom. It's a good noise. Resin! Nice, we can slap ourselves with daddy oil now. Also some rice, very good. Stuff that into your back pocket, we'll need it later. Bye. 
half an hour. <laughs> Fuck! Not only do you come back to daddy oil, <laughs> Nail, you come back to me having a heart attack. <laughs> Pat pocket, great. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome in. Preston, Preston Garvey. Hello, General. I've heard word of a Noah Seller, but I need some help. I would love to help them, but I'm currently in the intro right now. I'm kind of stuck for the next two hours. Welcome in. How is everyone? I think I saw Furby. I saw Mac and Target. I saw Morbo. I saw Neil. I hope you're all doing good. This is the first game I'm playing on my new PC, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's very smooth so far. Daddy Oil half summoned me, it really did. I was just talking about it. We were talking during Morbo's stream, but if I ever met Morbo in person, I would just chase him down with two massive bottles of olive oil. <laughs> I'll just say, cover me in Daddy Oil, Morbo. Oh, father. Oh, great father. This is a nice room. Oh, they don't let you spam it anymore. I liked when you in down like one where you could spam the sensor button. I don't understand the daddy oil thing, but I don't think I want to. I think I don't remember where it even came from. I think it was Morbo's Fallout 4 video. Uh, he was talking about oil. I think Morbo can explain it better than I can. Fingers crossed for smooth running of the new PC. Thank you very much, Mac. I could get slippery. Yeah, it's good to be slippery though sometimes. Oh, that'll be taken out of context. Very good. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Probably as a shit as it does now. I don't like wine. Chat. Go on, Galaka, Zano Chere. Alexander Karloff has resumed Dragonic language. Oh boy. About to be a raid killer. Everyone is going to join him who just joined is going to leave immediately when I start doing this voice. Okay, so if you don't know what Draconic language is, chat, I have to talk for five minutes as an uwu voice, basically, where I have to replace every R with W, which I sometimes do anyway. But here we go. Five minutes, starting from when it reaches... When the uh, streaming is finished. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, I too hate wine, especially red wine tastes like vinegar. Tastes like burnt leather and ass. I like wine. <laughs> it's Cabeza Mark Hulk. Oh no, Cyber. It's okay. Wait, should it be Cyber or Wiber? I think it should be Cyber because you put the W after the C because it's not W, the C isn't the W. <laughs> you can drink my fortune and unfollowed. Well, shit. <laughs> I, I tried. Oh, what is this? Okay, for 2023, mm -hmm. this is kind of a weird thing to find here. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. It's like the video master from Deadly Premonition 2. <laughs> I think you mean Twight. That's true. Hey Spike, how are you doing? <laughs> he's probably so confused right now, he's like, why is Wayden doing a dragon voice? He will. Indeed. Oh, what is this? Is this my called art? Oh, <laughs> tell exactly why, but not who will. <laughs> yeah, kicking me if you're trying to wag. Yeah. Can I play the piano? Oh, oh why didn't play? Oh no. Not a zip. So why there's nothing in here, chat? There is a, a place you can check out that does it this dude. It's called Discord, and there's lots of wonderful people in there, like the Vikings of Twitch. They're pretty cool. Uh, they have other redemptions, but their redemptions don't mean that you'll unfollow, <laughs> hopefully. You can check out Morbo, Mail for Alpha, so I work for 
uh, I will rob and all everyone else. Imagine me, you rob a pastry during a four player stream, and we all get redemption lot with you. <laughs> Johnny Vegas face Neil. It would it would be hell. It would be literal hell. <gasps> Swap. Hello. Oh, we're in the cutscene. That means shit is back to dead down. This is a nice place. <gasps> it's a guitar! It's, it'll be Ibu Flower, Johnny Vegas Neil, Christopher Lambert Melbo, and Pastry Seal Fart <laughs> Voice? What, what do you mean, Fart Voice? It's not a fart! <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Goodbye. It's, <laughs> it's heartbreaking, but the, the dragon voice ruins it. <laughs> celebrate the end of the world well, they died on their own terms let's hope we get that lucky too <sighs> i'll see what's upstairs you check out the garden okay okay sorry i was thinking that when mel tried to do her seal voice what you thought it was like farts like seal farts i'm okay of not having an actor you better not do it mel because your voice you Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Don't do anything too straining. We we can do this because our voices are suited to it. Like pastry can do seal, I can do oh well. I do enough stupid voices for free. That's true. What is this? Oh, this is the longest five minutes of my life. Wesson. There's a backpack and a backpack. Those wiggle wets. Well, that, that nearly sounded like a very bad word, but it did, luckily. Again, change the length of the one you wave as wide low. That ruined my voice. <laughs> Four hours. Ah, oh, mate, what a lovely option. <laughs> We're done now. Mac, you can join. Someone tell Mac that my voice is normal now. Ah, oh, but there you go, Alexander Karlov. I hope you enjoyed your five minutes of Dugonic language while I talk in Uwu for five minutes. I'm going to have a sippy because that voice makes my throat very bubbly. It's actually quite an easy voice to do, which is might be a bad thing. <laughs> He said it's going to do it all stream, that's right. Oh, oh, hello, okay. Oh, wow! That was really weird. That freaked me out a little bit. Oh, you can stand on top of this. I feel like I should be sad right now, but... I I'm not because Dragon <laughs> Full stream, ouch! Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if anyone unfollows by the full stream of that. <laughs> My normal voice is bad enough. What is this? So what game is this? Ah, I guess a good question, Mac. Uh, this is... Unless he's going to talk right now. Are you going to talk? No. <laughs> it looks just like them. You can tell that they're, they're, they're their skulls. Um... So what game is this? This is Dying Light 2. Uh, it's a sequel to a 2016 game, I think? I don't remember when it came out. Um, but Dying Light 1 was a zombie platforming game where you were set in this city called Havan and you did a lot of running around, jumping, uh, collecting craftables, and it was really fun. The story was nothing to write home about, but the side quests were really good and the platform setting was excellent too. Uh, it's one of those rare cases where a zombie game doesn't feel oversaturated and does an excellent job of its world building, gameplay and overall tone to be honest. I love the first game and I hope this game continues that trend, uh, you know, being what the first game was, like a, a, a platforming based synth-y Haran in, in a zombie world. 
because I remember Logicoma said a good a good quote at one point that the zombie apocalypse isn't shouldn't be the story; it should be the setting. Like you can put any story in the zombie world, uh, but you want to make it a good one. Don't make the zombies the focus, although you can make it the focus. But you know, wait, your dragon command isn't what I think it is, is it? What Iwu? Because it is male. <laughs> Uh, so what game is this? Your normal voice is charming. EA Play advert. Thanks thanks for saying the nice thing, Neil. <laughs> thanks for saying the nice. That's very kind of you. Oh, that, that looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> End of the world party. Hell yeah. I see dragon and it gives me PTSD. Whoa. There wasn't a game you played which was Dragon, was there? It was it was me in a in a Lake of the Lagoon where I said, please say Dragon, may or you will. If you work in retail every day, it is a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Those are real pictures. Yeah, they are. <laughs> are these the devs? <laughs> they might be. Yes, that is the PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> is there some violence uh, on offer? Maybe. I'm sorry, I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm God, coming it's lovely you. and running well, though. Thank God. No running. Thank the Lord. And now Rob has it as a, on a button. Wait. What? What mail? He has it on a button. I didn't know about that. That makes me very happy. <laughs> I didn't redeem that, did I? I think I did. So oh, I redeemed uh, end water. End water is my duty. That's the one I did. She was classy. What, what? She's got the Ada Wong um, trash dress from RB2 make, and she's saying in a, in a life support thing. Yeah, she's very classy. I thought this was a swimming pool at first. I actually think this is a fountain. Yeah, it's a fountain. <laughs> it's not a swimming pool. I mean, any stretch of water is a, is a swimming pool, but no, you don't. You don't jump in this and splash around and have a good time. I think he did that of his own volition. Oh. Neil has donated seven biddies. Thank you for the biddies, Neil. That's very kind of you. So it's appreciated, but never expected. I did that right, didn't I? <laughs> I always, I always get worried. I say that. I'm in the intro, Neil. <laughs> I'm in the intro. Can I, can I just run off? Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, hold on. Let's make this death good. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is one of our first times we've had this redeem. So let's go and do use this, shall we? <laughs> Wait, what did I use? I didn't mean to do that. Wait, did did you not, mean Neil? I can redeem your points if you want me to. Oh shit! New PC seems like a success so far, at least. I mean, Neil, do you want me to do it? I can refund your points and still do it. <laughs> that seems like a very good deal. I'll refund your points, but I'll still do the pooky. Yeah, I called it apoptosis because it's flower themed, isn't it? And it. Uh. I thought I was sharing a bag or something. Sorry, do you want me to redeem your points? I can, uh, Neil, if you want me to. But yeah, welcome in, paste your new PC in it, yeah! <laughs> Via rewards, channel points, uh, manage rewards and redemptions, if you request things, uh, all requests. Um, da -da 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 -da. Wait, where is it? It hasn't appeared yet. Oh no no no! It has. It's just okay. It hasn't. Uh, it's on a different page now. Okay, I see. Give me a second, chat. We checked. There you go, Neil. You got your points back. That was a big mistake. I don't know what. Uh, it's, it's fine, Neil. I don't want you to kill yourself. Not in real life, Neil. <laughs> that would be like a, a five million point. That that wouldn't even be a. <laughs> 
<laughs> a game <laughs> in game Sudoku. Imagine though. Oh my god. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Okay. I'm still gonna do it. Sorry, Spike. You said we want to control our deaths. I control. Wait, where am I? Nah, nah, no. Nah. I, I, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna do it because why not? It'd be funny. It'll be a laugh. It'll be a right old chortle. Just watch just like 20 hours of stream and then you can kill the streamer exactly. No, don't do it. I've got too much to live for. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> sure. Oh, I don't think I can. No, yeah, there's invisible war here. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, what is this? <gasps> secret? Oh, no, it's not a secret. Oh, I got excited there. <laughs> I could do it anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's very pretty. I'm glad that the, that the uh, FPS is fine. And the ball party. You got your <laughs> big mugs. Oh my god, look how big they are. Look, gotta do the weekly shop. Have a great stream, Flower. See you later, Morbo. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the raid. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And thank you for the biddies. I mean, first thing you did was fall off a cliff. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to find out if I could die in the intro, and I did. Hi, Spike. How's it going, dude? You thinking about life? You thinking about how awesome you are? You're a pretty awesome guy, to be fair. Sit down, buddy. Didn't you say like five minutes ago that I was I was a, a gift? A gift from the heavens to be my. A mind. gift. Oh, it came down here. By the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. <gasps> Expired beer. I also don't like beer chat, which is going to be shocking because it's I know a lot of people do like beer. Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Have a sippy, chat. I thought the end of the world could be so peaceful. Yeah, at least until night falls. True. <gasps> I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Hell yeah! Chat, if you don't know, Crane's the cat main character for the first game. I tracked down that guy oh, wait, no, I think I don't I do know who Spike is. Oh, I, I know who he is now. It only took half, it only took the first half of the stream to work out. He's the uh, merchant from the first game. Beer tastes like piss or lighter fluid. It kind of doesn't take, taste great, but it's also very crisp. Or so I like cold beer in the summer sometimes. See. I can get on board of not liking beer. I, I just don't like it. I prefer gin. Not to be honest. And a cocktail. I like something more sweeter in my drink. I tracked down that guy for you. What guy? Why did you say so early? Yeah, what guy? I'm guessing the white well, option is one to get more information, but it's not the story. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Uh, wine tastes like floor cleaner, but yeah, it isn't my choice of like alcohol though. That would be cider. Mmm, yeah, I like uh, cider. Also, I used to drink a lot of WKD, which is like blue Lucasaid. It's not even very alcoholic, but it's very good. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. Yeah, let's celebrate surrounded yeah, by corpses. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? You're right, the pilgrims. They're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. When something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. Knock, knock. All right, but you owe me one. I will catch up with chat, but I, I no, just need one. to stop skipping the dialogue, so I'm going to listen to this. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. 
See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. Pardon? What was that? You just said like a, a, a statistic number. Okay, right. Uh, catch up with chat. Uh, beer isn't, uh, I used to drink a lot of WB, WD-40. Well, fuck, <laughs> I'm drinking floor cleaner and not realizing it, god damn it. Simon, like, no! Your insides are really well greased. As I've gotten older, I like alcohol uh, less and less. I just have a low tolerance for, like, 95% of the beers. They all taste really bad. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it, 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 it's, like, people, uh, like bitter drinks. I don't. Um, my taste buds just can't stand it anymore. You just gotta try the white drinks, like Amaretto. That shit is dangerously tasty. Hmm. Needs to be sweet and creamy. Or sweet. Yeah, I can get behind that pastry. I like um, a good strawberry... I don't know how you say it. <laughs> what was it? It's strawberry daiquiri. St strawberry da daiquiri. I don't know how you say that word. But I like one of those. Those are good. Yeah, there's got to be egg cocktails. Like, right? yeah. I don't give a heck if that's typically girly. No, it's not. I also, don't. I also like sweet drinks. In other words, it needs to not taste like alcohol at all. Mm, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, but especially like gin, with a lot of mixers put into it, it doesn't taste like alcohol at all. Toffee, liquid, also dangerous. Mm. I think toffee is also quite a nice flavour. I'm less keen on like a Vasby flavour though, I don't like Vasby at all. Vasby makes me, uh, le puke. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city and its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. Okay. C can we like... Can we please encounter our first zombie in the first two hours of this game? <laughs> I, I, I need that to happen. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... A heavy load. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. I feel like he's about to die. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so. I don't like this shot, chat. Eyes. I feel like he's about to get he shot or something. Shit about the world. Let alone this is going on too long. Yeah, you're probably right. No? I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. I don't like this chat. Set up a house. Oh no, <laughs> that, that camera is like he's gonna get sniped. Ah! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Okay, now we're standing up now. Okay, good. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. <laughs> Shot and bite behind well, him, yeah. Likely. My time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Is he actually not gonna die? That's actually that's actual straight in a zombie guy, game. Or whoever you're looking for. That that remember, that camo angle is not good. In a TV right show, they would kill that character if he was if he was standing like that. <laughs> you're gonna get sniped. He didn't die. <laughs> good. I thought he was, but we're okay. Okay, I'm gonna check. Chat. Uh, I also didn't get. Oh, that's a lot of chat I missed. Uh, well, in other words, it doesn't, uh, I mean, I'm happy not to drink now. Saves my money. Yeah, exactly. Coffee. <laughs> Long Island iced tea is a good one. If you don't like the taste of alcohol, that shit's like 70% straight. Oh, God. Uh, oh, no. It, it, it keeps scrolling back up. I can't read it fast enough. Hold on. Let me just get it on OBS. I can get it on OBS quickly. Uh... Thank the drink. I also don't give a shit if it's simply girly. I generally like my alcohol to taste nice and not like shame and regret. Mm. When I think about soft drink, I hate those too. <laughs> you hate the carbonation of it. Right? Yeah, the bubbles hurt even if you drink something bad. A lot of soft drinks taste really nice, sweet, but the bubbles are bad in it. I just like they don't burn. I have bad. I have a babby mouth. 
And there's Mikey sat on the chair, shouting behind him, Yeet! You're gonna get sniped! He just falls down the stairs and breaks his neck! Or flower throws his beer bottle directly into the back of his head. Oops! What I thought was gonna happen is, we were gonna throw the bottles, but he didn't land in the swimming pool. Either we just heard the crash, and then we would've been attacked by zombies. But we're good, that didn't happen. Also, can I use this weapon? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, the, the um, yeah, the, the week is a lot longer than in the first game. Hmm. Oh, I, chat hasn't updated for me either. Hold on. That cutscene, but during the power hit event thing, we were playing on dark, Dying Light 1. Yeah, it just gets <laughs> launched into the background. Now who's the awesome person, Spike? Huh? You think you're some, you're some, you're some shit? No! I have like rocket boots on me. I just get yeeted into oblivion. Also, where are we going right now? I hope the first zombie appearance is memorable and he doesn't disappear like out of nowhere. That's cool. Who's that? Sound like pastry. You down there, pastry? You, you doing seal stuff in the water? First zombie will fall for the fall like that. <laughs> Bear yesterday. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought that was a person. I thought like they were really stumpy and those were their legs. <laughs> the, the, the hive was their face. <laughs> it's not, though. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Dumpy? I hope you're doing good today. <laughs> He's having a seat. He's having a seat down. Okay, time to go. <laughs> hello, sir. That's how I balance out the uh, the swears with the uh, the politeness, <laughs> the Britishness. Will I survive by jumping a war? We. Oh well. There you go, Camille. You, you can swim in this game. <laughs> Flower greeting, Sir Tree. Yeah, when I get to the end of Elden Ring, and I go into the uh, Erd Tree probably at some point, and I'm just walk up to the person, and they'll be like, "Hello, Mr. Erd Tree. How are you doing?" I'm here to kill you, but don't hold that against me. Uh, oh, Mel, you you were uh, right. There's four through the floor. <laughs> here we go. Oh yeah, kicking to death with your tiny leg, exactly. What's that noise? Sound like a a creature. But it wasn't. Okay, uh whoa, whoa, UK you UK you Aiden, you're a little bit uh I think you had too much beer back there. Ow, fuck! Ah! I wanted to find out I had a strong attack. I don't have a strong attack. Maybe it's like charge, maybe? That's not. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, you can't, you can't jump and hit them. Like in Dialect like 1, that's sad. What's that? What's that? What, what can I do on you? There's like a, a, a bomb. What? Oh. Maybe it was a lot less monster, maybe. It was a danger noodle. Do you have a torch, Aiden? Or are you just like really ill, Ill prepared? 
Oh boy, cans! I do like how dark this game is. Like the first game, you kind of see inside of any room, but this one, you have to actually look. It reminds me a little bit of Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, you have a torch, and I was kind of worried in caves that they'll be too brightly lit, but they're not. Like <laughs> you generally need a torch in that game, stuff. Stop taking away the fun, Techland. Yeah, they did. They took away the um, the kick, the yeah, air kick you could do. You can't drop kick anymore. Pastry's doing the lurk. Enjoy the lurk, pastry. Doing the lurky duck. The lurky turkey. It's like, what is that? What? I'm getting into the water. Oh no! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Stay down! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Don't fuck with the flower! I'm so glad I found a lantern early. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Oh, okay. F. F to pay respects to your face. Bah! You're telebonking them. Teleborn condemn to the bourbons. Right, okay. Uh, oh, is there a uh, tree stumpy guy? How's it going? Hope you're doing good. <laughs> it does generally look like that. I'm not going crazy, chat. Am I? <laughs> I use a lantern even if it's kind of like. Yeah, it's a good thing to have. Like, if it's night in that game, it's good to have around because it actually. Um, I think it stops the bats from attacking you. They, they, they're kind of scared of, of the light. It's like that area in Dark Souls 2 where you have those uh, giant uh, dark creatures who try and attack you. It's a little bit like that. Hello? Is this the set from Jurassic Park 2? When they're like getting attacked by a dinosaur and the car falls over the cliff? Oh no, it's like Uncharted. In what world would this be a good idea? Like, just climb the hill over there. Why, why, why go to this length? Can I even make that jump? I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can. Okay, surprisingly. Alright. Villa door. That's what the city's called. Two kilometers? Oh god, we need to get our walking shoes on. Bus falls in lake, now you're dead, game over. Exactly, That's, it's too dangerous. Like, especially with how you're in the zombie apocalypse, you don't need to be jumping over stuff. <laughs> and having a possibility of slipping over. That's what this game needs. <laughs> whenever, whenever you try and do a skyscraper jump, there's a small chance that you'll like fall over some rocks and you'll just tumble to your death. <laughs> in, the, in flower games, we add realism and make the game really annoying. No zombies. Okay. Let's do the crouch. Two kilometers is not very far. Isn't it? It's, 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 it's a little bit of a distance. Like, to be fair, I live right next to all the places I would need, so I don't really need to travel too much, but... Uh, every time you do parkour, there's a 50 percent chance you slip and, and eat payment. Yeah, exactly. Zombies won't kill you, you'll die from tetanus. Yeah. I see we're all sleeping here. Is this the waiting ground for, um... Elden Ring DLC? Everyone's just sleeping? <gasps> bye bye Okay. Uh, we're good. You didn't hear shit. Oh, game, you can't give me this. Oh, no. You fools. Oh, wee! Have fun!
Okay, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. We had our fun. Uh, we're not staying here. I like the music right now and how calm it is after, after throwing a, pop, a propane tank into a a, a, uh, a horde of zombies in a tunnel. Oh, we lose. Oh, oh no. Dying Light 2. There's stamina now for climbing. That wasn't in the first game. Why, why would you do this? You can't hang on to Legis forever now? Hmm. Uh, zombie, uh, zombies won't kill me, the parkour would. <laughs> Wait, we're just gonna probably just die from running for a bit. Uh, they just dust themselves off, yeah. Okay, it's time to go. I'm kind of bummed that they put like the stamina for climbing, to be honest. But the, one of the best parts of the first game was how far you could climb like, on your own. God, you're Aiden. Your your stamina is absolutely terrible. I could hold onto that longer that ladder longer than you could. Maybe there was a perk for it now or something. Yeah, but like it kind of takes away some of from what I liked about the first game and how you could climb radio towers without too much worry. I guess they made this so you can level it up now, maybe. Which is fine, I guess. It's not a bad thing. It's just I'd prefer <laughs> having enjoying myself, I guess. Can I climb this, please? <laughs> you want to climb? Aiden? Oh, oh, we're going this way, okay. I got roped into something else, and now we're literally going to get roped. Here we go. Oh, no, there we go. Forest retention area. Please do not disturb the local wildlife. Oh, look at that background. I'm glad that the PC is running well for you, you chat. If it isn't, uh, please do let me know so I can change some of the quality settings. But if it's fine, we're good then. We can continue. I think why I thought the stream was running poorly before is because I was at I wasn't at 720p on my desktop display. In fact, I might put it back to 720p just so I can see it. Looks amazing, balls, fan fantastic. Who's that? Oh, there's no one. Yes. Fall off. Oh. That's, that's what we like to see in Dying Light. More of that, please. Look at that river. This game is stunning to look at. Tech, tech landed a fantastic job. Oh, boy. Okay, jump on a swinging rope. Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, my favorite thing in video games, <laughs> skill trees. You leveled up your parkour proficiency and earned your first parkour, parkour skill point. You can now use it to unlock your first parkour skill. Wow. Well, I don't get any choice, do I? I just get high jump. Allows you to jump higher and reach higher ledges. Almost there. Aiden's got a uh, Mario boots now, I guess. <laughs> it did the Terminator noise, it did. Bah! Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, <laughs> graphics. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Aiden, you okay, mate? Whoa, whoa, we, we good? We good. Are we okay? Right, good. Maybe if there's like a skill on a tree for stamina while climbing, maybe. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the Yeah, so if you don't know what Dying Light is, chat, and you don't know why people love this game so, so much, when it goes dark, that's when the um, 
the volatiles come out. They're like super zombies, and you have to try and avoid them. I hope we get to see one of those in this intro, because they're really cool looking. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Keep getting to do this. A vaggedy chopper, excuse me? What is this? As medieval as it gets, leaves nasty wounds. Oh, look, it's like Elden Ring. It's got blunt and uh, slashing damage. Okay, that's cool. Can I switch the one to go? How does one switch them? How does one switch weapons? Uh, key bindings? No, not movement. Aim, toggle, block, crowd control, but not next up in wheel down. Wait, it's wheel down. I tried wheel down, didn't work. Oh, there we go. Yeah, may I go right? It's, it's free. I like the uh, trails. That's that's a new thing. That's kind of cool. Long ago, it's been moved. Right, where are we going? Okay, oh, let's give it a try. He's got Batman vision. He does. So they kind of explain it in the first game why you have survival senses. So at the beginning, uh, Crane, uh, the protagonist of the first game, he has, he gets infected, and then he has to have these things called radic radaxes. A bit, I, well, I don't forget what they're called, but he has to take these uh, daily medicine so he doesn't turn, and uh, it basically gives them heightened senses, and that's the explanation for it. It's cool. I like it. Also, fun fact: uh, Crane in the first game is voiced by Roger Craig Smith, who voices Sonic in. All modern Sonic appearances outside of the movies. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. Is it resident generator? Oh, it's dead. I need to connect it to power. Ah oh, shit. We're going to a basement, oh, I'm guessing. Ow! <laughs> Fucking ow, Aiden! He won't hold that against him. No, he won't. Oh, to be honest, he's a very good voice actor. Uh, despite uh, working on Sonic. He's fantastic in the first game. You know, uh, there's one! It's a volatile. Aiden, stop the standing there! Open the goddamn door! I'm sitting here throwing popcorn at you! Open the door! <laughs> Why is everyone an idiot in zombie games? Some enemies can use power attacks that deal massive damage and can knock you down. Okay, Neo, when an enemy is about to use a power attack, his health bar starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit? The former dodge press space this music. Right, gonna go make mum some fruit buns. We'll be back later if I have a great stream if I miss the end. We'll be going on a longer we'll be going on for a little bit longer today, Neil, so we'll probably see you later. Ow, ow, ow. Woo! How do I heal? H, H? Okay. Oh, it takes seven years to heal, that's good to know. That's nice to know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it takes 50 years to heal. That's good. Time to go. Bye bye. Oh, thanks for the bees, uh, Neil. 
the 12 bitties. Oh, hello, sir. Ooh. It's not, it's not easy, is it? <laughs> come, come on, like. Come on, let's go! You wanna go? Come on! Oh. Ow! Get back in your hole! This is on me! Oh! I'm try trying to dodge, but they lock onto you, it's hard! Right, I'm going back in here. Bottleneck. Um, hello? You guys good now? Does the music's gone? I guess we're friends again? <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> They're pretty polite. Yeah, they don't attack you while you're inside. That's nice. Okay, right. Bye. I didn't do anything to you, but you know what? It was the 40th four, counts. We done? Oh, no, we're not. Sit down and stay there. That was close. Ah. Let's craft more healing. No, I don't. I don't like the snake noises game. I'm, I'm not a big snake person. I don't. Hello, anyone down there? Is there a clown? Don't know why I went with this accent right now, but it happened. You betrayed me, Mister Gate. Oh, this is a cool looking room. I like the bed. Is that umbrella? No, it's not. <laughs> Watch the store open with no problem now. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Furby. You betrayed us, door. DMCA! I don't know if the song is DMCA! I'm going to go out of here because the song could be DMCA! Let's go into here and wait out the evening! DMCA! You've just not the first day, so you don't get to go. Yep, I know that stuff's from the same first game. Oh. Safety music! <gasps> that might actually work. That was a good shout mail. That might actually work. Thank you for redeeming safety music. Safety from DMC. I don't know about it, if that is going to save it, but hopefully we're okay. Let's have a little sleep, shall we? A little sleep while we listen to some lovely... We're going to be playing that game today. We're going to be playing Hollow Knight later on. At about five-ish. Oh, hello. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I was wondering. I thought we were like a, a, a thought we were a young child. Okay, that's good to know. Oh wow, memory. You're stupid. Let's go now. This works. This music this works in everything. Also, the, the background music in the actual game right now sounds like this theme. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like a... 
Yeah, it sounds like this music. <laughs> Sad cutscene music. So fun fact chat, they played this song. Well not not the actual devs, but this song play appeared in an Austra in an Australian like drama show. It was like one of those like long series five hundred episodes things, and then this, this song just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't think they even asked for the rights to it. Maybe they did, but it was really weird. You're safe with me. I know. Yeah, the music sounds like dirt mouth. Listen to it now. <laughs> it's just the same song. Do what I tell you. So I'm guessing we're here and we're going to get injected with zombie DNA and we're going to become part zombie. This is how we'll always find each other. Yeah, they got needles in their arms. It was so powerful that it took us out of first person. Nothing like some happy memories to keep you asleep at night. Fire! Fire the oh, it smells burnt. It's not our card that caused this, was it? Wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without, without the starting area burning down. Wait, this isn't a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> what if it is though? Zombie Final Fantasy. Okay, as long as the DMCA, mu DMCA music is gone, I'm happy. Uh, time to the <gasps> I'm here to kill chaos. Did you honestly expect me to remember that chat? Oh, chat? Uh, game? I'm going to take a guess. This cast weekend to kill all the zombies, exactly. <laughs> wow, there's no water. There's no brain cells either, apparently. But you check the Killians? Don't give me that shit, I'm sick of it. <laughs> I don't give me that shit. I'm so brave, I can't fucking stand it. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. I <laughs> don't need, think you need to put a megahertz in part, Aiden. <laughs> Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a... Oh my god, this is an Evil 7 all over again. Who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know? Why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. Right. Well, looking at the you're not oh. doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know, over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. New Paris? Is there a new Eiffel Tower there too? I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Right, well, looking at the time chat and how we're getting close to two hours and we've kind of reached a good point to stop, 
in terms of story and like doing a good like trailer for people who want to play this game. I think we're gonna leave it here. Uh, we're gonna go move on to, over to Elden Ring now and play some of that game. It's been good playing some. What was this? It's been good playing this. I've, I've I've enjoyed this game quite a bit. I think I'm gonna uh, leave this game until I stream this on Friday again, uh, and then go for the prologue, and then I think I'll start playing it on my own and come back to it every so often. But with that, we're gonna go and uh, head back to our Be Back stream, and we're gonna. Uh, play something else.